All right, so it all started out at the Grammys. Yes, the Grammys. Yes, I went to the Grammys. I'm still pinching myself about that. Like, I can't even process that. We got to talk about that later. But this random dude on Facebook holding tubas tagged me in this post looking for an African-American female guitarist with a rocker vibe. I kind of know a girl like that. So anyways, I looked down at the bottom and lo and behold, my mom has already liked the picture. And yes, you guessed correctly, commented. <laughs> Anybody that knows my mom knows this is not unusual at all. Long story short, I hopped on a plane and went to Chicago because they said they needed a black female guitarist. All right, interview, Lonnie interview, take one. <laughs> my mom had an idea. All right, you know what? We just want you to relax and, and you know, just not be nervous. Just go ahead and give us something. You know, hey, this was an elevator pitch. You got one minute. All right. Let's play something? Yeah, go ahead. I think I should just keep. Wow. Girl. Where you grew up at? I'm so sorry. I just touched myself. <laughs> so, uh, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. Um, I grew up in uh, like a lot of different places, which is really cool. Uh, because initially at the time, it seemed, it seemed like a setback, to be honest, that we were struggling. And we kind of lived with, with different families and different neighborhoods and different environments. But I think that now has equipped me to literally be able to go anywhere in the world and make friends and, um, you know, I did eat lunch in the bathroom a few times, <laughs> but um, toilet water and cornbread actually isn't as bad as it sounds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I guess I, the best answer is I grew up in Chicago, but just being, moving around so much, to be honest, because we were kind of struggling and just trying to find stability, that really helped me now with the lifestyle, you know, being a musician and traveling and, you know, I just came from the Grammys, which, you know, is just insane to me. And, and even being here today is just a constant reminder that everything I went through growing up set me up for now, set me up for being able to just adapt to any environment. And um, I know when to shut up, I know when to speak up, and I know when to, when to take some time and, and figure out, you know, what's going on and stuff like that, and just to read different situations. So Chicago is definitely in me, but like, I mean, shoot, I got a little bit of everything. Oh, I didn't know it was on. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so um, well, tell me. So first of all, tell me why you play music. Wow, that's a great question. Um, I play music because um, the Walmart greeters were not hiring when I originally applied. <laughs> um, so I, did. I am I am glad that happened. I aspire for more. But um, no, really, honestly, I play music because I've never seen anything transform everything we do from um, weddings funerals to walking in a store to someone being married someone being born someone dying someone changing their mind about being married someone i mean music is literally like the soundtracks to our lives when you walk through walmart that greeter is sitting there and he can get through the day because there's music playing on the speakers and i just want to be i just want to be a part of that movement somehow of just making people feel hope and people feel happy and people feel like um, you know if you like it you should have put a ring on it I would love to be a part of that <laughs> as much as I can so that's why I'm like <laughs> oh you know what you are a natural 
Play something for me. That look, I can't wait for you to actually play something because I heard you the bomb. I heard you the bomb. Thank you so much. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Thank you guys again for the opportunity to be here. One, two, three. Oh, you know, just a little black girl magic. <laughs> Black girl magic! Hey. <laughs> Sonya is beating my face, guys. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> Y'all hey. know, proud mom. I had to take her phone so she didn't tweet <laughs> anything else today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make up by Sonya. Come on, baby. Hey guys. So, I'm in Chicago. I'm actually here auditioning for Empire. The role of Lonnie on Empire. I'm very nervous, excited. I'm pretty sure the CIA just pulled up to kill me. But I'm gonna just keep moving because I must. But, I'm very nervous. I'm not nervous right this second, <clears throat> but I'm definitely, um, you know, in the nervous family. So I'm just preparing. <laughs> I just came from my from my Empire audition. I'm so nervous. I don't. I wonder if I took my coat off. <laughs> you don't even remember. I was so nervous. I'm. I, I'm. I would say that that's the most nervous I've ever been. Mm -hmm. My point is like, I. It's not like I. I have a low pressure life. I am nervous all of the time. But like, what? Oh my god. So okay, yeah. so what type of happened? So okay, you walked, so I walked in. in and the lady was like it was a it was a lady sitting when I first walked in. Okay guys. So I just got into my dressing room. I got a dressing room. La -di -da. I got a dress. Okay, it's 5 30 a.m. Wait, I have blinds, guys. I have blinds. What is that? to do in the dressing room I open this door I have a toilet Lonnie has a toilet okay okay Lonnie's light don't work but you know Lonnie is uh she's doing the best she can she's struggling right now but this is my dressing room and wait for it I don't even want to get out of this door I just came from the audition for Empire um, for the role of Lonnie and I'm definitely crying. No one's shocked at this. I've been crying all weekend since the Grammys. Um, I can't believe I left the Grammys to go audition for Empire. I, like I don't, I just don't even know what that sentence just, but I, anyways, so yeah. I'm pretty much just trying to um, not think and I need to take a shower, I need to stop crying, I need to take these eyelashes off because they are not mine. I did pay for them in full. If you're judging and think that they're stolen, that is not the case. Alright guys, cut, cut, security! If we get in any trouble, you know whose fault it is. Hey, 